Many of the activities in the following program are extremely dangerous and must only be carried out under expert supervision. Please don't attempt any of them yourself. Every year I challenge 10 kids from across the UK to live off their wit, survive off the land for 12 days. No phone, no text, no social media. This year is going to be harder tougher, faster than ever before. We're all doing this, OK? <laughs> Stand up tall now. Die. The meat is no good, <laughs> but the maggots oh, are. No. Oh, something she's brought me to death. Let's bring you up, last push. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> On bare grills. And this. It's survival school. Coming up, a fierce storm hits. Let's go now, let's go now, go, 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 go. The students struggle in the high winds. I can't hold on. Yes, you can. I can't hold on. And they're losing their grip. <laughs> It's the middle of the night, and the recruits are sound asleep. But a severe storm's on its way, and instructor Sarah needs to evacuate the camp immediately. Everyone get up, please. There's a storm coming. They're in real danger. That's it. Bring your sleeping bag and roll up. Nice and fast, guys. We've got about 60 mile per hour winds coming through. This area is just not safe to be at the moment, so we're doing an evacuation to a safe point. We don't have time to mess around, guys. This camp is in the middle of a forest. If the students don't move now, they could be hit by deadfall. Why have I only got two people ready? The more time we spend here, guys, the less safe it is. The winds are due to pick up to 80 miles per hour in the next 20 minutes or so. Come on, Jamie, you're the only one ready. Take charge, help them get ready. This is not a test. It's a real-life situation. Let's move! And the students just aren't moving quick enough. Guys, is everyone sitting back on here? Why are you faffing, guys? Come on, get the line. Finally ready, they must move swiftly as they hike to safety. Carefully, we don't want to pick up any injuries on route. They make it to an emergency shelter set up in a safe clearing. The girls and the boys must share a tent Gosh. tonight. We can get the boys in this corner, yeah? Okay, when you're all down in your sleeping bags in the next 30 seconds, okay? Okay, guys, so we've got a big storm front coming in. It's nowhere near as bad as it's going to be. This tent for now is the safest place you guys can be. That took you. 40 minutes, it should have taken 20 minutes. So next time you're in an emergency situation, make sure you do it as fast and efficiently as possible. Night. So far, the survivors have had it pretty easy, and that's because of the weather. You learn about survivor spirit, though, when the weather turns, when it gets cold, wet, windy. Then you see what people are really made of. It's day eight and the expedition has already taken a battering after losing valuable teammate Callum. Up you get, guys. With storms settling in, the recruits will be battling hard to stay safe and happy. Obnoxious, loud and shouting at each other. Most of the girls are trying to get to sleep, really, and the boys are kept, like, being really immature. Everyone was having a bit of a laugh last night, but it really doesn't take it as a laugh. Like, throughout the night, I kept saying, guys, can we please go to sleep? Please, can we go to sleep? And then we started shouting at them, and they still wouldn't shut up. And it was like really annoying. We're having a laugh. We're all saying stuff to each other. Like insults. It wasn't insults. And it was getting out of hand. It's quite unfair, okay, when people want to get to sleep and everyone else is talking. So just have a little bit of respect for each other. You could have got a lot more sleep if you'd listened to Ruby. Sleep is essential as it helps your brain stay sharp and focused. And with the storm taking hold, the students are going to need their wits about them. After getting the all clear, the recruits cautiously head back to camp to assess the damage. A big branch has come down near the tents. It's quite big in size, so it had quite a lot of it. If it, if it falls from that tree, uh, all our, our tents would get crushed with us in it. A near miss and proof that storms must be respected. But no matter how difficult the conditions or how little sleep they've had, survival school doesn't stop for anything. 
even extreme storms. Today our young survivors have literally got to launch themselves into the unknown. They've got to get across a rope suspended 100 feet up across this chasm. It's frightening. It requires strength, balance and commitment. Then throw into that bad weather. That's why today is going to be the ultimate survival test. This combination of driving rain and gale force winds can make the temperatures drop to sub-zero, making it feel as cold as the Arctic. So it's wet. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. Okay, well this is it. The weather has changed. Welcome to North Wales. It's even worse up here. Today is all about resilience. Look up there. That's our task today. To get across there. The recruits are going to be doing a Tyrolean traverse. This is a method of crossing over a gorge or water using a fixed rope. In most weather, it's a great way to get to your destination. So we're working in the mountains. It's going to be wet. It's going to be windy. It's going to be horrendous. The trick is to move fast and keep warm. No moaning, no grumpy faces, grit your teeth, dig in. Let's get through it. This is going to be a test of mental and physical strength. Try and move with purpose, guys. But right now, the group is struggling. The lack of sleep and the bad weather are taking their toll. I'm not happy. Um, I'm wet and I'm cold and I'm tired. There are a lot of emotions going on right now. It's definitely more challenging than I thought it would be. But I think we just have to stick together as a team and push ourselves through. Ruby steps up first to face this extreme challenge in unpredictable and stormy conditions. I'm a bit nervous because it's quite windy out here. and It feels quite full on with the rain as well. I don't think Ruby realizes just how impressive she can be. Earlier in the expedition, I had a chat with Ruby to spur her on in the big moments. I really want you to know that you're shining really bright. One of your greatest strengths, I think, is you've got a big heart. Uh, you've got a lot of emotion as well. You know, yeah. things make you cry a lot. Yeah, sometimes it just gets a bit overwhelming because, like, obviously, this is really different from all of our normal lives. So it's like you're scared, frightened, worried, but then also excited as well. Mm. So sometimes it just gets a bit too much. But do you know what? That's all right. You know, we all deal with difficult things in different ways. What matters is you keep going, you know? But I just want you to know you're doing really well. Good girl. Well done. She'll need to take my words to heart, because if she freezes even for a second, fear can take its hold. It's a long way down, isn't it? Yeah. The students need to pull themselves and their heavy backpacks across using the climbing technique, the Tyrolean Traverse. You literally launch yourself upside down and pull hand under hand. Your feet will go down like this. OK, and you just keep pulling and pulling until you get right away at the cross. I can do it. Ruby's determined, despite the wire bouncing around in the high winds and the huge drop below. Okay. <sighs> you slide down to me and you'll get your weight on the rope. <sighs> yeah, you go. I, I can't hold on. Yes, you can. Okay, I can't hold on. Ruby, just stop pulling, darling. Pushing off from the security of the wall across an abyss is tough. But in this weather, there's no time to waste. A dangerous gust could blow in at any time. Come on, come on. Your teeth. Let's go. Come on, Ruby. That's the one. Reach right high above your head. I knew she had it in her. Well done, Ruby. Great resilience, determination, courage, everything the Bear Grylls Survival School stands for. Good girl, come on, pull hard. My arms are killing me. You can do it. When I got to the middle, it was a bit of panic because I thought I couldn't pull myself all the way across. You can! My arms started to, like, burn, and getting the actual grip of the rope was, like, challenging. It was wet and slippery, and it was hard. <laughs> With the extreme weather conditions, it's essential to get the recruits across the rope as quickly as possible. Each hand, we jump. Josh and John grit their teeth against the roaring wind Go for it. and make it across in no time. Well done. Wow. Next up is Jasmine, and her hands have gone numb from the cold. I'm scared of going across there because I don't want to hurt myself. And then I just want to get down because I'm freezing. It's cold up here. I'm scared the wind's going to blow me off. Come on, 
comes. Hold on. Whoa, Susan! Jasmine needs to wait for a lull in the wind, as going across the rope now is too risky. With the weather deteriorating, it's also affecting the recruits waiting to cross. Getting cold up on a mountain is extremely dangerous, as hypothermia can set in. Instructor Sarah has a plan to combat the cold. Now, so what I've got here is an emergency storm shelter. I'm going to get this over you to protect you from that wind and rain. I've used one on expeditions and it's a lifesaver. It pulls your body heat to create a warm and sheltered microclimate. Hey, good guys, stay warm in there. I'm glad I'm not out there right now because yeah. it's pretty windy. I'm so used to this weather because this is like Northern Ireland every day. Jasmine's exposed to all the elements uh. and must battle the increasingly fierce winds as she crosses the gorge. There's nowhere to hide out here. Oh. Can't pull hard. No walk in the park. Oh. This is so much effort. Hand over hand. That's it. Uh. Oh, I've got a way too oh. She just made it across in time there. That wind's just picked oh. up. I farted. It's squeezing me. Don't worry. I think farting on a Tyrolean like that is completely natural. Mm. It was very hard. I struggled at some bits. But I did it, and I'm glad I did it. The storm's gathering momentum, and five recruits still need to make it across. So, you guys, you're going to have to do really super fast so that you don't end up in trouble. Who's going next? I mean, Jeannie, how are you feeling about heading out into this, these elements? Oh, I'm a bit nervous now. <laughs> yeah. Just want to get it over and done with. Sometimes survival is all about speed, and this is definitely one of those times. Get on it, get across it, get down. Cold? Yeah, freezing. This is a very different Eugenie to eight days ago. Now she's just getting on with it. Amazing. Head back, head back. Hold on, super strong. Get an excellent survivor here now. The weather's really coming in. Oh, my arms kill. I had to use a lot of perseverance and push myself through. Take your chance now. Yeah. Lauren and Abby power across the rope. Well done, Abigail. Well done. Come on, Lauren. It started raining and the wind started picking up, which made it ten times harder to get across. Pull, pull, pull. Come on, Abigail. All the way, all the way. Come on. I enjoyed it so much. Loved it. Jamie's up next, and this is really going to test his fear of heights. We're going to wait for our chance. Hold on. Okay, let's go, go, go. It's a lot. I got a bit scared when I said just go, 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 and I had to like pull myself off of the rocks and trust everything that was going on. Get your head back. I can't see. You're going, Jamie. Under these circumstances, I thought they might struggle a bit more actually, but they're really getting a bit between the teeth. But it's not a success unless everyone's off the mountain, and Ash is still looking edgy on the other side. So if you look up there, you can't even see the tops of the mountains anymore. Yeah, I'll be there for a second. Yeah, I'm shaking because I'm really, really cold. I'm slightly scared. Scared, eh? Yeah. Just as Ash is about to clip on the rope, the rain becomes torrential. Come down to me. This is getting serious. OK, we're going to wait for the last and let's just get you on the rope. Both hands on. Come on, there's no time to mess around. Both hands together. Keep the weight onto the rope nice and easy. Yep, let's go now. Let's go now. Go, go, go. Cool. Hands on your head. Get your head back. That way you sleep. Ash is showing incredible grit, but he must power through the eye of the storm. It's too dangerous to stop. There's total focus on his face. I remember now why I like the mountain so much. Ruthless, unforgiving, horrendous. Well, oh, that's great. You can do this last bit. Fighting the mountains, one thing. Fighting the elements, this is totally different. I mean, this is just epic. I'm so... Well done, buddy. Ash has all but collapsed with exhaustion. Right, super strong. How was it? It was just my my muscles aching. My my hands were burning. End of my throat it was getting clogged up when I was trying to breathe. Across. Um... A, a gorge that was right 100 foot down all by myself. The weather is absolutely disgusting. Sarah, let's make a move, let's get out of here. The weather's coming in. Big style. The recruits' route back to camp has one big obstacle in their way this raging river. 
The rain sweeping off the mountain means it's swollen and dangerous. A wrong move and they could be swept off their feet. There's no let up at survival school. They'll need to work as a team as they battle through these turbulent icy waters. Here we go, straight across here, back in the camp. You can use one of three techniques, holding hands across here, maybe in a triangle or one behind the other. You choose the technique you're going to use. You get a class as a team. Four times. Hands. Hands could be good. Boys up first then. Okay, you have to go in line, yeah? Here we go. The boys will need to face upstream and move slowly and steadily. Their rucksacks slung on just one shoulder are now ready to be used as a buoyancy aid and won't drag them down. Really slow, guys. You can do it, yeah? Rocks on the riverbed are slippery. One wrong step and you're a goner. Don't let go of each other. Don't stay holding on all the time. John, stop pushing ahead. Wait a minute, wait a minute John. When Jamie got in, I've moved back and I've gone straight on a rock and my friend's flying back. Well done, John, well done. You can make it out this side, keep pulling hard. I think it was kind of my fault that John fell in because I let go of him for a set, I'm, 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 even a millisecond and something can happen. After a near miss, the boys decide to use an alternative, more streamlined technique, one behind the other. Oh! oh, oh. Right, oh. Let me turn around. Wait, right. I'll shoot left, and then we'll go right. Jamie steps up to lead the group. Left foot! He'll need to coordinate movement and communication. Their safety is in his hands. Left foot! Left foot! Left foot! Left foot. Left foot. Left foot. Jamie's really taking charge. This is the best communication I've seen from the boys. Okay, guys. Strong stuff. Three, two, one. Oh. Jamie was definitely the leader there. He was communicating with us all, telling us which foot to go, back, forward, left, right. He did his job because we got across perfectly. It was yeah, definitely it was. fun. Yeah, was apart so apart fun. from the fact that I was doing almost the splits and everyone was trying to <laughs> film me back. <laughs> That was really good. Next up is the girls. They're finding today particularly difficult after being kept awake by the boys last night. I'm really tired and just really hungry and I just want to go to sleep. I'm still going to do it, but I'm just not feeling up for it. What's the plan? We're oh. going to go like a train. OK, go for it. So we're going to go into the water in a line. When crossing in a group, you need your strongest person at the front, bracing the flow and the girls have chosen Lauren to lead the way. Come on, Ruby. OK, hold on tight. The girls make a start across the fast-flowing current. Right, left foot. But almost instantly, Lauren is swept off her feet. You can't go backwards, you've got to get across the two. Oh, Jasmine does well to hold on, but the force of the water is too strong. But incredibly, Ruby grabs hold of Lauren. There's absolute determination as she refuses to let her teammate drift away. You got me? Just minutes ago, Ruby didn't even want to get in the water. Now she's saving teammates. Impressive. This is exactly why crossing as a group works. If one person slips, the others are there to steady them. Supporter! Oh, supporter! The girls regroup, and Jasmine's now the leader. But she's struggling too and starting to panic. That's it! That's it! Come on, keep going! Jasmine, communicate! They just about managed to hold it together. But there was a communication breakdown. That was awful! We were falling all over the place. It was really difficult because the current was so strong. Everyone was like getting dragged backwards, so it was really hard. Well done. The boys are feeling competitive. I think it was a win for the boys because the girls were in so much pain crossing that. It was so I'm funny sure. to watch. <laughs> so yeah, the communication yeah. was quite poor to fight us trying to tell them to get it up. So we'll see. It was a lot more pressure because you didn't want anybody to slip and fall. And if they did, like Lauren did, you might wanted to make sure you had them. 
For me, if there's one hero of the hour, it was Ruby. You know, the way she worked so hard, she turned her face against that storm, against that raging river. She never gave up. She showed grit, heart, determination. Well done you, Ruby. After getting a soaking all day, the recruits are very happy to be back in camp, warming up around the fire. OK, guys, that's another end to a massive day. But the weather's changed. It is getting harder and harder. But this is when you get stronger as a team. Storms make you stronger. They make you tougher. They make you more resilient. And you proved it today. Team of the day is going to be a tough call. Going across that Tyrolean, there's a couple of massive personalities there. Ruby, I know you were scared. Wind nearly took you off. It was brilliant. And also, Ash, I think you got hail, uh, sleet. It was horrendous. The river crossing, I think, you know, the girls were good. Rescued Lauren, that was fantastic. But really, it's the boys' proficiency. Working as a team, well, I think, the first time, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, I think team of the day today, that's a difficult one. But we think it's the boys. So the boys' teamwork secures them the win. They now lead the girls four points okay. to three. Eat a hearty meal, get some dry clothes on, keep warm, have an early night. Today's adrenaline highs and near misses have the camp reflecting on what they've achieved so far and how much they've changed. When I go home, my mum's not going to know me because I feel like I've changed so much already. Like, you don't really know what you're capable of until you try these extreme things. Mm -hmm. And now that we know we can do it, I think it will be a lot easier to tackle the challenges that we have in everyday life. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that I haven't really missed my travel that much. I feel more free. And I think when I go home, I'm going to try and ease off my phone. And I just think you get to appreciate the more simple things. Whilst all the boys can talk about is beating the girls, now they're leading 4-3. Now that we're working as a team, we should be able to do pretty well and gain a couple of points back, really. Maybe even win. See, at least I've got a positive mindset. I just want to go to sleep. I, I, I'll think about now, not about tomorrow. With no let up in the weather, the students are about to learn what survival school is really about. Suddenly, in the last two days, we've had this. It's just been relentless, non-stop wind and rain. You would think the morale would just drop, but it hasn't. They're actually fighting through it, but this is going to test them because it's going to continue for at least the next two or three days. Next time on Survival School, it's all too much for the boys' team. But what do you want me to do? Whatever you think needs done in the group. It's the most physical challenge so far. Oh! And homesickness grips the camp. I miss you.